new videos every day. Hi, I'm Jen. I'm a massage therapist and a yoga teacher in Austin, Texas. I understand that sciatic pain is a problem that a lot of people experience, and I see it a lot with my clients. So today I'm going to demonstrate a few postures, a few stretches that you can do on your own that can help to alleviate sciatic pain that may be a result of tension through the hips and the glutes. I encourage you to follow along with this video. Go ahead, get out of your chair. You can sit down on the floor right where you are. Just tilt your computer screen down a little bit and just follow along with me. Now, if you know that you have a lot of tension and tightness in your hips, you may just want to start with the first pose and only practice that. We'll be increasing the level of difficulty as we go along. So just honor your body, honor where you are. And if you know that you have more flexibility and range of motion, then you're welcome to move all the way through the sequence and practice the most advanced stretch that I'll be showing so you can get the maximum benefit of releasing the tension through the hips and glutes. So the first stretch we're going to practice is called Baddha Konasana. So go ahead and place the soles of your feet together and opening the hips or the knees out towards the side. So here you'll notice you're starting to feel a stretch through the inside of the hips and you may notice the stretch through the outside of the hips as well. Once you're here, just lengthen up through the spine, moving nice and tall so you're not hunched and rounded over, but really try and reach up through the top of your head. And feeling this stretch, when you're ready, you can begin to fold over, just folding forward, creasing at the hips. This will deepen the stretch through the inside of the thighs as well as deepening the stretch across the back of the hips. Once you're in your farthest forward fold, just take some nice deep breaths here and relax. When you're ready, you just begin to come back up to a seated position. And from here, we're going to move into laying on our back. So you can go ahead and lay down. And just bend your knees so that the soles of your feet are flat on the floor and the knees are pointed up towards the ceiling. You'll begin to cross one ankle over your knee and press that working knee out away from your body. Once you have this shape, you reach through your legs and grab a hold of that bent knee and start to draw the knee in towards your chest. You should be feeling a nice stretch along the outside of the hip and the glutes. You can use this elbow to press into the knee, to press the knee away from you, and that will increase the stretch for you. So again, once you've reached your maximum stretch, just breathe and relax here. Releasing the foot back down to the floor and place both feet flat. Next, you'll move on to the other foot, crossing it over the knee. 
pressing that working knee away from you. Reaching through the legs, you'll bring that bent knee up towards your chest, and with your arms, you draw the knee in towards you. Breathing here to relax. You can use your elbow to press the knee away from you. And when you're ready, release the feet back towards the floor. Sitting back up, we're going to begin to work on what's called a half pigeon. So this creates a deep outward rotation in the hips and allows for a deep stretch. The best way to get into this pose is to bring one foot across your body and open the knee out so you have a line that is perpendicular to your body. So the shin is creating a perpendicular line. You can go ahead and sit on the outside of your hip here so you have a nice right angle in your knee. From here, you'll begin to stretch the back leg out behind you and rotate that hip straight so it becomes square. Sometimes takes a moment to adjust yourself and get into this posture. Feel free to take as much time as you need. There's no need to rush. If this is enough stretch for you, you can stay right here. You'll feel a nice deep stretch across the hip. If you choose to go deeper, you can begin to fold forward. If you'd like an even deeper stretch, you can begin to move your body closer to your foot, away from your knee, and this will increase the stretch in the hip. When you're ready to come out of the stretch, go ahead and sit back up. You can lean over to the outside of your hip and swing that extended leg back around to the front. Switching to the other side. You'll bring the shin perpendicular to your body, sitting onto this hip so you have a right angle with the knee. From here, you begin to inch that working leg behind you and begin to square the hips. So you're really working to bring this hip forward so you're not collapsed over onto one side. So you're squaring the hips forward. And again, if this is your maximum stretch, feel free to stay right here and breathe. This is an excellent stretch for the hips. If you choose to go deeper, you can begin to fold forward.
Remembering to breathe here. When the stretch is intense, the inclination is to hold your breath. But if you take nice, deep breaths, it will allow you to relax into the stretch and really release that tension. For even more stretch, you can begin to move your upper body away from your knee, deepening the stretch through the hip. And as you're ready to come out, just sit up, lean over onto your hip, and you can swing that back leg around to the front. So if you are someone that is suffering from sciatic pain, or if you just notice a lot of tension and tightness through your hip, practice these stretches every day you can favorite this video so you can find it easily and follow along with me anytime you want to practice. And don't forget, even if you have a lot of flexibility and you can practice the pigeon, it's important to start by warming up your muscles just by moving through this sequence, beginning with Baddha Konasana, moving on to lying on your back, and then moving into the pigeon. You don't want to overwork or overstrain your muscles by going too far too fast. But if you take a few minutes to practice these postures every day, you will notice a great difference in the amount of mobility that you experience in your joint. You'll have a reduction in the pain and tension that's there, and you'll have a greater range of motion as walking, running, cycling, any activities, you'll notice more range of motion just by practicing stretching and opening the hips. So thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know how this video was helpful to you. And subscribe to our Psyche Truth channel where you can learn more about my massage and yoga practice. And if you'd like to see more videos, this is the place to do it. You can also visit my website, jenhillmantherapeutictouch.com. Thanks for watching and come back soon.